When we're trying to determine whether CO2 is an acid, base, or neutral, we have to figure out what we're comparing it to. So if we just have a sample of CO2 molecules here in a gas, we really don't have anything to compare it to. So it's best to just consider these molecules to be neutral, not an acid or a base. The simplest definition of an acid or a base says that acids, they donate protons, hydrogen ions, H+, and bases, they donate hydroxide ions, OH-. So if we have H+, we'll have an acid. If we have this OH-, we have a base. But when we look at CO2, we don't have any hydrogens here. So the simplest definition, it doesn't work for CO2. But when we put CO2 in water, we set up this equilibrium here. Carbon dioxide plus water gives us carbonic acid. A gas and a liquid, we get this aqueous solution. And this carbonic acid, it breaks down. It's aqueous, so it dissociates into its ions. That gives us this equilibrium here, carbon dioxide plus water, and there's our H+. That tells us that carbon dioxide is going to be an acid when it's in water. We also end up with this negative ion here. Both are aqueous. They're dissolved in water. The key thing is carbon dioxide reacts with water to make the carbonic acid. That gives us these hydrogen ions. That makes CO2 an acid when it's in water. Carbonic acid is a weak acid, so it would only be slightly acidic. A more advanced definition of acids and bases is called Lewis' theory of acid and bases, where an acid accepts a pair of electrons. A base, it donates a pair of electrons. So in this reaction here, we do have the CO2 accepting a pair of electrons, and the result is this carbonic acid here. If you really want to understand why CO2 accepted the electron pair, you need to look at the reaction mechanism. So in the description for this video, there's a link to a discussion illustrating that reaction mechanism. But in short, CO2 is considered an acidic oxide, and it will result in an acidic solution in water. But just CO2 by itself, that's not considered to be acidic or basic since we don't have any of these hydrogen ions or any electron pairs being transferred. This is Dr. B answering the question whether CO2 is an acid or base. It is acidic when it's in water. Thanks for watching.